Hello, my name's Hilary Wardhoff. I am a professional photographer and I've been based in Canberra for about uh, 21 years, I think it is. Um, I think I started the business officially in 1997. Um, I've always been an AIPP member and what AIPP is, is the Australian Institute of Professional Photography. Um, and I'm classified as a licentiate, which is a long, long member, um, and also a master photographer. So um, I'm proud of that I've gained that recognition within the industry and uh, I absolutely love what I do. I started off with weddings and portraits, but then I went to um, sort of more business to business work, so headshots and events. So most of the days, uh, these days I spent shooting uh, lawyers, accountants and politicians and so I love that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I can say that I think that I define success also by my love of community and uh, I always make certain that um, I give back to the community and uh, have many projects that involve giving back. Lastly, I think, you know, I absolutely love what I do. I It's something that is a wonderful lifestyle to have, to be able to create something for people, for other businesses that they can make money out of. Um, and to create something that they absolutely love as well is, is something that's, you know, a really wonderful thing for me. So uh, I think, you know, I, I love that feedback. I love, I love the fact that, you know, something that I create for someone else has an impact on their lives. So how do I define success? I think, the fact that I've been in business for 20 years uh, is, is pretty good at defining success. Uh, these days with photography, there are so many people out there um, who are photographers. And uh, I think that the fact that I've been in business for over 20 years is a huge thing these days. Uh, it is my only form of income. Uh, I don't have a second form of income to help me through the week. So it's very important for me that I also define success by the fact that I can deal with failure. Uh, it's hard at times. Um, if I've made a mistake, I am the first one to admit it and I am very good at um, dealing with it straight away. I'm the worst procrastinator normally, but seriously, you've just got to deal with those things when they arise. Fortunately, uh, it hasn't been uh, a, a thing that happens too often. So some of the community projects that I involve myself in are things like um, giving back to people who are interested in photography themselves. So since about 2011, I've been doing a free photo walk and um, it usually happens about three times a year. Last year I didn't really have one, but um, we've just got one coming up shortly. And um, I really love that people appreciate my time and uh, my expertise. Um, when we do the photo walks and you know my mother says to me why don't I charge for these things but um, you know I just think that it's important to spare a little time for people who are also interested in photography so I love it. Yeah. Um, and lastly I am a volunteer photographer for Heartfelt. Now Heartfelt is a, a charity um, that's based in Australia and New Zealand uh, that um, provides the gift of photography for families who suffer stillbirth and terminally ill children. Um, I'm the ACT representative for that. Um, we have about 10 members in the ACT region and it's something I'm extremely passionate about um, and I know that the families that we help are extremely grateful for uh, what we can do for them. So it's very important to me. I've got a few projects um, that I like to do and I, I think for any um, business, um, it doesn't matter what you do, whether whatever it is, um, you have to do professional development. Um, I'm fortunate that as a creative person, that I my creative development and professional development involves being creative. So um, I have always got ideas about what to do. Uh, and um, so we had a wonderful collaborative event in 2016 called The One Project which was uh, shown at um, Photo Access in Canberra and also in Melbourne. And uh, just this year and for the following two years, um, I'm involved in co-curating another um, project called Loud and Luminous, uh, which will involve po possibly about 100 artists. 
Um, and lastly, at the moment, um, I'm actually doing a project which will be exhibited in Canberra next year at M16. It's very dear to my heart. It's about dementia. Um, my dad recently died of dementia and um, so it's something that um, is very important to me and I think as photographers exploring ideas um, to like that is a cathartic experience and, um, and one that basically gets the word out about um, an issue that uh, doesn't have to be as huge as an issue as it, as it could be. So that's very passionate to me. Very important to do professional development and um, it's something that um, I do all the time.